Hello, I am a natural vegan. Beep, 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 beep. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I just reacted to Unnatural Vegan a week ago. However, you guys want me to check out her latest video where she shows us her fridge. Let's have a look. So a while ago, I did a fridge and pantry or was it just fridge? I guess it was French and pantry tour. Right off the bat, aren't those the darkest pupils that you have ever seen? Her eyes are virtually blacked out. She looks possessed. Pantry tour. Uh, that was back at our old place. So it's been at least two years. And I thought I would do another one. Not the pantry because it's not. There's just bread randomly. <laughs> it's pretty bad. But the fridge fridge we just got a new fridge let's see it and it's awesome and it's clean for those who saw the last fridge pantry thing it was just it was just a mess now we've had this I guess about a week or so so yeah things are things are pretty clean and pretty nice just because it's new you know I'm not gonna lie but uh it is still pretty disorganized I kind of I didn't I kind of tried to put things in let's see it all right here we go here's mm -hmm. the fridge like I said it's wow. just like where can these go? Here, that'll work. So we've got so much plastic, so much packaging. It's crazy. Veganism will save the planet. So environmentally friendly. Yeah, sure. Some mayonnaise. Does anyone know what happened wow. to Just Mayo? Did, did they just abandon it? I don't understand. Like it was hard to find and the company kept saying, oh yeah, we're working on it. It'll be back. It'll be back. And then I think maybe at some point it came back and then, no, it's just gone. I, I don't even remember the last time I had just mayo. It doesn't pay off. Yes, veganism is still promoted by the media, by the authorities. Go vegan, save the animals, save your health. But the reality of things is, if you walk into the supermarket, the aisles are stacked with vegan food. Nobody wants that crap. Vaginase is, is fine, but yeah, it's just, it's just weird, you know? Here's some black bean garlic sauce, which like, is that not the most just disgusting cover you've ever seen? Like, what even is that? <laughs> Got I agree. Some wheat germ that we've had forever. I'm sure it was in the last wow. one. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, we're not eating a lot of wheat germ. I don't even know why we have it. <laughs> she literally has Soylent in her fridge. This is the vegan future they want you to live. Wheat germ. I don't even know why we have it. Almond butter, cashew butter, wow. sunflower seed butter, which is just wow. disgusting. Soy sauce. I don't understand this. On the one hand, she seems so reasonable. She looks at this food and says it is disgusting. She understands that none of this tastes really good or equals animal food or nutrition. She even goes so far to call herself the unnatural vegan. She is a rebel within that community. However, she is still vegan. I don't get it. It's mind-blowing. Olives for me. Oh, just egg, which is not... Not wow, all. Wow, look at this, man. I can go to a farm just a couple of kilometers away from my house and grab some fresh eggs. Maybe use some cartons to transport them. That's that. That is my environmental footprint. Look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five plastic containers for something that won't even give you 1% of the nutrition of regular eggs. Disgusting. All the just egg that we have. <laughs> uh, Funny. Oh, it's, it's six problem. containers. Soylent. So they added some Soylent <laughs> flavors. This is banana. There's also wow. a like different chocolate one. Yeah. Uh-oh. This looks like a Black Mirror episode. Look at this. This is the future we are supposed to live. Everything is packaged. Everything comes in plastic, in containers. Your food needs to be supplemented. Hello, I am a natural vegan. Beep, 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 beep. It is a robotic synthetic life. What does this have to do with humanity? I forgot the new fridge has a beepy thing. 
Okay, gotta shut the fridge. <laughs> All right, there we go. Got a couple more minutes before it goes. Pro tip, you can simply push the button in the fridge. You don't have to close the whole door. It goes off again. So yeah, the banana tastes like, uh, kind of like a, you know, those banana popsicles, those flaky, faky banana flavors. Fake. That's really delicious, but in a drink, it's just like weird. I assumed I wasn't. Why is everything weird or yucky or disgusting in your fridge? Second question, why do you keep it in your fridge? Hmm. I'm gonna like it and I was right. The chocolate I was excited about, but it's oh, it's just not good. I like the uh, tahini because, you know, every vegan has tahini for like hummus and stuff. I don't know. True, because every vegan craves animal fats. Oh. Tomato basil marinara from Trader Joe's. The best, absolutely my favorite marinara sauce. A lot On meatballs, yes. A lot of the others are just way too, way too sweet in my opinion. Hemp hearts, I add them to a lot of stuff because they're healthy. Because they're healthy. Because somebody told me that they are healthy because I listen to the authorities and therefore it has to be healthy. What is healthy about hemp hearts? If you try to get a substantial amount of omega-3s in, you have to eat quite a bit of them. When you try to do that, you attempt to eat a bit of them, you will start pooping them out again because they're not digestible. Uh, just a shit ton of dates from nuts.com that I need to use, I need to make bars with or something. Flax seed, as you can see, I've actually got a lot of room here. I could definitely move those up there. Maybe I'll do that when we're done, wow. probably not. How many, six? One, two, three, four, six. Six bottles of just egg, plus this one, which has been opened, so, you know. Let's not do the evil thing and buy real eggs. Fine. Blueberries that I guess one of the kids didn't finish. Bunch of chia seeds. I haven't been using chia seeds, so those I think we've had for a while too, actually. More blueberries. Mm -hmm. Tiny Baby is obsessed with blueberries. They will eat just like a whole cup in a sitting. It's really funny. Smart bacon that's been prepared. I've been Smart bacon. This is how they fool the idiots. What is smart about this? It is probably made out of soy or some other plant protein isolate. There's nothing smart about this. Just because the packaging says smart doesn't equal smart. Mm -hmm. Putting it on salads and in wraps and stuff. <sighs> Here's some tempeh bacon for the kids that I need to make because I don't like tempeh, but I thought maybe they would like- What you like is real bacon. You don't like the vegan fake foods. Just admit it. Still, you want bacon and eggs like a normal person. Like this. And then just a whole bunch of uh, better than bouillon stuff. The no chicken. <laughs> Uh, this packaging is genius. Better than, smarter than. Yes, you're a good consumer. Kind, <laughs> the... I think that's all no chicken uh, and the garlic kind. Freeze-dried or lightly dried cilantro. I really like it because... Like I never use a whole bunch of cilantro. Whenever mm. I want cilantro, I want like a quarter of a bunch and then that's it and then it goes bad. So this is, uh, this is nicer and I don't have to chop up cilantro, which is gross. I hate touching like wet greens and stuff. Oh, it's so nasty. Hmm, greens are gross as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeast? What even is this? <laughs> Vegan Lights, logic. Jalapeno peppers. More sunflower butter. Uh, why? Why anything? But either. Pickles, I eat that. There's some uh, peanut butter, creamy, natural peanut butter back there. I don't eat that. I eat the, I eat the good stuff, sugary stuff. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just a little bit of pasta that I made last night. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, this must be like tiny babies or something. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what it is. I'm put that up there. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. She actually has kids. What do they eat? How do they live? How do they survive? This is an honest question. We've seen babies being malnourished on a vegan diet and die. Meanwhile, they ate a whole food plant-based diet, a nutritionally adequate diet. If I look at this fridge, all I see is pre-packaged junk food. How do your kids survive? I use the Barilla Protein Plus penne and broccoli and some bell pepper. You can see the Parmesan on there. It's the BioLife Parmesan cheese. Some olive oil. It's the fake cheese. Just say it. Lemon juice. It was like a lighter version of how I would normally do pasta, which is... For all my German viewers, back in the day, we had a scandal. There was an outrage going on because supermarket chains such as Aldi used fake cheese. They called it analog käse. There was a humongous scandal. People felt tricked 
for their money, tricked over their health, eating fake stuff. Nowadays, people pay more money to get fake cheese. You just have to call it smart cheese. Like very, very <laughs> oily and fatty. Oh, I did a lighter version for a uh, partner because he's not really into that stuff and he partner. gets heartburn <laughs> and all that. So I did a lighter version. Who calls the husband or wife partner? Oh, I comment down below. I like this little feature. Can you see that? It like pulls, it goes in. So if you have stuff that's taller, like this prune juice, oh my gosh, so exciting. So exciting. Uh, so this is prune juice. Like I said, this is for tiny baby. Tiny baby is prone. Why would you give your kid prune juice? It just gives it diarrhea. To constipation, just like a toddler would. And there I have my answer. Tragic, but not surprising. The babies were constipated. Of course, they're constipated because you're feeding them outrageous amounts of fiber. You should be ashamed of yourself. Unfortunately, but the prune juice helps with that, so that is good. Yeah, that is good. Give them something they don't tolerate and then give them something that will lead to diarrhea. Smart move, smart cheese, beyond intelligent. Why don't you feed them a species-specific diet in the first place so they don't get constipated? More smart bacon, as you can see. Yeah, I plan smart, on cooking a lot of smart. smart bacon. We've got some unsweet vanilla, uh, silk almond milk yogurt. This is basically criminal. What you're doing is you give your kids some sort of food that replicates an animal food. Those kids, those babies, those infants, they do not know better. They believe that they will extract some meaningful amount of nutrition out of that ice cream. They are, of course, craving dairy. Dairy has calcium, fat-soluble vitamins that you cannot find in that almond gunk. Yogurt for the kiddos. Some chickpeas uh, for me that I've been having in salads and stuff. Unbelievable. And stuff. No, just salads. Um, I think that's just like peanut butter. His partner just will not. Like, it's the tiniest bit of peanut butter. You can see through that, can't you? It's just the tiniest bit. Like, why would you even say that? save that? I don't know. This is some of the nastiest stuff I've ever tried in my life. Blueberry, peely nut yogurt. We get it. You're so cool. You're so edgy. Everything is disgusting. Yogurt from Lava. I Why guess, do you eat it? Company. Peely nuts, coconut, and plantains. And it just tastes wrong. Like everybody, including toddler, was like, no, I cannot eat this. Like, what is wrong with this? What is this? It absolutely rivals the ripple yogurt, the grainy, weird pea protein yogurt. Yeah, this this is, oh man, this is probably worse. It is horrible. It's just been sitting in the fridge for uh, a while now. Uh, but jokes aside, Swayze, why are you still vegan? Why do you do this to yourself and more importantly to your children? Don't you see that their natural feedback is disgust to those foods? Why don't you feed them eggs? Why don't you feed them dairy? Why don't you keep your kids healthy? Oh my God. A couple weeks, and usually if we have yogurt like this that's sweetened, it does not stay in the fridge for a long time. A uh, bunch of tofu, firm tofu, extra firm tofu, extra, extra, extra firm. Uh, can't miss out on the tofu. Tofu, some tofurkey slices. I, I never buy wow. firm unless they're out of extra firm, so that's literally... And then you wonder why she is on antidepressants. All of this will destroy your thyroid. This will then lead to anxiety. The anxiety will lead to depression. One plus one equals three. The only reason we have the, the firm. I don't I don't really get... I don't know. I don't buy firm. I don't know why I felt the need to, to say that. But anyway, lots of slices. I've been putting those in wraps and stuff. Very good. Lots Very of good. guacamole. Everything in your fridge tries to replicate animal foods. Very good. You can see the little tiny ones. I like these better than the than the bigger because they don't go well because you just use it all up so you don't have to worry about it going bad icy cold water for me i just can't stand room temperature especially when it's hot outside because then because you are anemic it's way warmer like coming out of the pipe Ugh, it's just disgusting i like it super super cold bunch of soy milk the sweetened and the unsweetened protein nut milk almond and cashew lots of milk all of those beverages are not milk i said it many times before on top of that they obviously lack all the nutrition that you would find in milk hence you have chemicals inside you use terms such as fortified it is all bs you have synthetic supplements 
in those beverages. This is not food. Back in the day, we used to know that you cannot use supplements instead of proper food. You simply use it to supplement your food. Now what you are doing is not a supplementation. You are simply replacing food with supplements. We're always, always stocked with milk, everybody. Heart healthy, what a scam. And here we've got Unbelievable. <laughs> The cholesterol myth has been debunked 10,000 times. Look at all the veggies. We got a whole bag of broccoli here. I like the florets, so I sure. don't have to, I don't know. I feel like everybody loves veggies. I always end up wasting sure. so much with the, the big, the heads that you buy. I'll use it in a soup or something, the stock, but then I don't. It's just, uh, it's just a pain in the ass. So I like these better, worth the, the price. Some yeah, again, super edgy. So what do you do a natural vegan? You don't eat vegetables. You just like strawberries, peanut butter, soy milk. How do you do it? Ten thousands of people failed on their vegan diet. They're ex-vegans now because their health suffered. However, Swayze shows us just by drinking soy milk, she can be vegan over a decade. Tell us your secret. Romaine, some more broccoli, a cucumber, some really sad looking celery needs to be used. Some more lettuce, one of the, whatever this is, classic garden mix. It was just the best looking one. Two of those, a tiny bit of cucumber, uh, some more strawberries, like I said, and a bunch of carrots. And let's do the doors. Some harissa, is that how you say that? Two different misos, actually I think they're the same. Yeah, they are the same. Some. Imagine every single household would consume food the way that the vegans do it. Just imagine the amounts of waste that you produce by eating this way. This is insane. Some sesame oil that needs to be out of the fridge because like, look at that. Uh, I don't even know how to say that, but some of that. What is that? Hoisin, some soy sauce, more miso back here. That's the miso that partner likes. He doesn't like the taste partner. of this kind. I, just, I don't know. I, I think that tastes fine, but whatever. Uh, this Korean mm. teriyaki barbecue something or other. Some sauce. baby food that we've had for a while. Uh, tiny baby. Absolute outrage yet again. Look at the baby food. Apple, strawberry and banana. And obviously you can store this for weeks and weeks on end in your fridge. How is this healthy? This is just sugar. Babies need nutrition. They need building blocks in order to grow. They need proteins. They need fats. Of course they need some carbs for energy. But the vegan diet is only carbohydrates. Carbohydrates do not build the human body. Carbohydrates deliver quick energy so you can do athletic tasks if you will. What kind of athletic task does a baby accomplish? Sleeping? Trying to walk? Feed your baby's animal food, please. No longer a tiny baby and no longer eating baby food. So <sighs> yeah, uh, might, might want to do something with that. We got some cheese here. We got some Violife cheese hanging mm, out. It's not cheese. Now just like the, the one thing that'll fit in this in this time. Just because it's yellow, it's not cheese. Any little area here. <laughs> Uh, we've got some vegan DHA. <laughs> Super toxic, look into it, filled with solvents. Yeah, I'm trying to take DHA more regularly, so I got mm. that in the fridge here. Why? You don't have to keep this in the fridge, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know, I, I like to, it makes me feel makes me feel better. Mm. Uh, some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, the Kroger, which is uh, uh, vegan. Yeah, funny. And some more DHA. This is the kind that my kids take, mm. liquid stuff. That is great. Instead of giving fish to your children or omega-3 eggs, you're gonna give them medicine. Great choice. Uh, some lupini beans, Italian snacking lupini beans, marinated with sea salt and vinegar. They are absolutely foul. Everything is. Plus honey, this came in like a, one of the vegan cuts boxes, I think. It's disgusting. Disgusting as well. Cheese and, and butter drawer, at least for now. We've got the Miyoko's uh, oat milk butters right there and the uh, Miyoko's cheddar shreds, the new ones. Also the slices right there. And what is this? This is Trader Joe's. This is really so pathetic that you don't even see this. You hate all of your food. And meanwhile, all of your food tries to replicate animal foods. You really don't see what is going on here. Those mozzarella shreds. Wow. Ooh, they're disgusting. They taste like that uh, that one nut 
cheese uh, parmella. I'm so over it already. It is so pathetic how cool you try to be by labeling all the food disgusting. I think was the brand that I tried Lame. a while back that was horrible. Yeah, it tastes like that. It's just gross. Mm, and gross. here's just some day of cheddar for me because I like it. Meanwhile, the video is titled What's in our vegan fridge? It's unorganized, but not gross. Yeah, sure. This better. Um, honestly, <laughs> this is just too much for me. I don't know. It's just too much. I don't like it. So I end up using the, the day. Uh, here we go. There's supposed to be ketchup right there. It's on the table right now because we were eating. We were eating some uh, Morningstar Farms corn dogs, which wow. are delicious. If you have not tried them, try them. They're so good. They just taste like a corn. Super good if you want to get heart disease. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, mm. Anyway, Italian dressing. I like that on salads and wraps and stuff. Of course, radish. I feel like everyone knows what this stuff is. Mustard, oh. marmalade, orange mar. I don't know. The plastic doesn't end. Why? Like no one's even eating that. We just have it. Look at More this. More mustard, flax, cooking oil. I don't know why we have that. I don't use that. <laughs> oh, this is the BioLife Parmesan cheese. It's so delicious. A couple jellies down there. Rice vinegar, capers. Mm. Garlic, lemon juice, lime juice, sriracha, Taco Bell hot sauce, uh, Frank's Red Hot hot sauce, salsa, paste salsa, and canola oil. This fridge has great as well if you want to get heart disease. Has, it's called like a flex zone or something wow. stupid like that. But it never ends. Can be a fridge or a freezer, so that's pretty cool. So we yeah. have it set to freezer because we use uh, a lot of freezer space. We have a lot of frozen things. We have a lot of things that need to be frozen. That's what I'm trying to say. Ice packs because always getting hurt. <laughs> it's just, this just happens. The So Delicious Mousse, the lower calorie stuff. It's like a hundred something, 110. I'm not going to say anything anymore. These, didn't I? Yeah, they're, they're really, really tasty. I like these a lot. But then I just got like a notification from Veg News or, or blah, one of those websites blah, blah. that was like, no, they're just rebranding. They've, they've updated the packaging. And this is some Beyond Beef. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Can't forget the Beyond Beef. Dun, dun, dun. We got nuggets. We're always eating nuggets. I'm pretty sure we have more in here too. These Beyond Breakfast Sausages, which uh, Tiny Baby really, really loves. I think Toddler just... Oh, I feel like my soul is getting drained out of my body. How don't you people see the connection? It is so easy to recognize. This woman has been vegan for around about 10 years and she still craves foods that taste like animal foods. Don't you see what is happening here? It's all burgers, it's all chicken nuggets, it's all ice creams, it's all cheese, it's all milks. It is all trying to replicate the real thing. You cannot trick your biology. We are all slaves to our biology to some extent or the other. We have to feed the machine. Don't you see that your food choices just reflect what your anatomy wants? Animal foods. It's that simple. Wow. You and my partner, I haven't tried them because they smell nasty and I just don't like. Yeah, Breakfast yeah, sure. sausage was never, ever my thing. And it smells like that and it's gross. Why don't you get some real animal foods? Here we've got the vegetable spring rolls from Trader Joe's. Delicious. Boca burgers. These are for partner. He really likes them because they're really high protein. <laughs> they're really low calorie. He makes this like uh, sandwich with this, this keto bread that they have at Walmart, I think. That's also... This is uh, the beginning of the end for your partner. Once vegans try to go keto, it's not far off from quitting altogether. They already realize that they cannot live with those outrageous amounts of carbohydrates. Probably low calorie. It sounds awful and like mustard and I think that's it. It's very, very sad. <laughs> this is, uh, what is this? Trader Joe's Thai sweet chili so veggie fake. burger. Uh, I think partner makes this for a tiny baby. There's another one too. Oh, maybe it's this. Oh, I guess it's both of them. Vegetable masala. Yeah. And then down here. Oh, this is exciting. The Healthy Choice Power Bowls. They have vegan ones now that actually can compete with the non-vegan ones in terms of protein because they're made with like mock meats instead of just... Oh, yeah. I forgot. A natural vegan is so successful with her vegan diet because she makes sure to get enough protein. That's the key, guys. So that's really cool. This is the meatless chipotle chicken. Why do you name it after something that is morally reprehensible? 
principle. Why do you name it chicken? Don't you find it disgusting? Don't you find it wrong when those poor chickens suffer? How can you name your food after something that is from your worldview bad? Vegan logic. Sardine chicken. So I'm really excited to try that because I love sardine. And I've got another one, like a beef one, in the other freezer that'll show in a minute. Down here, mm. like I said, more nuggets. Nuggets right there, nuggets right there. I do not like this stuff. It is, it's got like too much molasses or something. It's just real weird tasting. Yeah. So, ugh, yeah. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that, how I'm gonna use it. The Guardian Throw it in the bin. that have been opened, I guess. So someone had some. The beef tips, I use that to make beef stew. That is so- And by the way, those things are super expensive. They cost at least double the amount of their animal food counterpart. This is veganism for you. You will spend twice as much. You will pollute the planet with all that plastic and you will get malnourished on top. A win, win, win situation. Oh good. A shit ton of the meatless, meatless chicken strips. So I'm guessing this is what's wow. in that um, that Power Bowl thingy. But yeah, I use these, you know, mixing with pasta or putting in like a chicken noodle soup, any, anything like that, you know, because it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. It's the same thing that comes with the teriyaki one, the Guardian teriyaki, but without the sauce and with more of the, the strips. I can't more take nuggets. it anymore. <laughs> Veggie buffalo wings from Morningstar <laughs> Farm that are a little bit spicy. Oh, we were really disappointed by their popcorn chicken. It is the same as the nuggets. There's just like more more breading, right? Because they're they're smaller. What did you expect? Chicken? Uh, this, <laughs> I think I bought this from the dollar store like forever ago. I'm sure it's just totally nasty and icy at this point. So that's cool. Uh, falafel from Trader Joe's. Meatless meatballs, Gardein. Chicken patties from Morningstar Farms. Shut up, bread. There's like a button on the front that just like turns it off. But, oh yeah, there is. Yay, you found it. Okay, I literally just pushed the button on the front of the fridge and it turned it off. Yes. Okay. Meat Lover's Burger. This is still like my favorite burger. It's very, very good. The Meat Lover's Burger for vegans. Two new ones, like a turkey, a vegan turkey one, and then just a vegan like protein one. And they were both really good. So that's cool. Yeah. Buffalo chicken patties. That's original chicken patties. Okay. All right, that's all down there. So let's check out... Dun, 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 dun. the other side so in the door again not not a whole lot going on just a crap ton of coconut just like this is all coconut i think <laughs> uh a bun that we haven't used yet one of the killer dave's whole grain buns very yummy there's that other power bowl i was talking about this is the meatless beef or beef beef i can't vegetable stir fry i am so, defeated yeah. Also a Gardein. You I win. Try that. More Gardein. Some of their meals. Sausage, potato, and kale breakfast bowl. Italian sausage and pasta bowl. And teriyaki <laughs> chicken bowl under that. Uh... We got some Beyond Beef crumbles over here. Feisty crumbles. And some beefy crumbles back there. This is all the vegetables and stuff. We got a crap ton of edamame because I'll go through a phase where I just eat a bunch of edamame and I'm like, oh, I need to buy like five packages because I'm eating it all the time and then I stop eating it. And then we just have frozen edamame. It's great. Got some corn here. We've got some more corn here. Just so much cauliflower because I think we don't have any frozen cauliflower, but then we do. This is way too much. I should make a video of my fridge. I think this is like we would be done in two minutes. Half cauliflower. This is the yummy rice cauliflower stir fry from Trader Joe's that we like to have. A uh, partner adds some tofu to it and then we eat it with those uh, Trader Joe's spring rolls, the vegetable spring rolls. Really good. Peas. Carrot and peas. And then finally, this is kind of the fruit drawer. So you can see you've got a bunch of banana. I'm going to make some banana ice cream when I'm done with this, actually. Got some wild blue. Because you don't have enough ice cream. Blueberries. Some spinach for smoothies, so not fruit, but you know, whatever. Uh, some pineapple down there that we've had for a while. Some avocado too, and I think that's it. So that's it, my kids are going crazy, so I better go. I hope you enjoyed this. Yes, Subscribe, support the channel, patreon.com slash I had the time of my life. <laughs>
All right, guys, and this is it way too long as it is. It just shows you yet again how hypocritical vegans truly are. They destroy the environment, not only through their packaging, not only through the plastic, but of course through monocultures. This is needed in order to create all of this fake food for the masses. You deforest the environment, you kill all the so-called pests such as birds, mice, wild hogs, lizards and whatnot. You kill so much more animals when you are a vegan. It is ridiculous. But still, hey, you sit here on your high horse thinking you're oh so much more ethical than anybody else. Simultaneously, you do not believe in God. You do not believe in universal morals or ethics. You simply try to be a better person. Whatever that means. An absolute brainwashed slave. All right, guys. But this is it for today's video. As I said, way, way too long as it is. If you enjoyed this, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, just check out the links in the description box. I have my Patreon link there as well, my subscribe star, so on and so forth. Thank you very much. All right, guys, as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.